Hello everyone. Welcome to RPA Learners. In the last series, we seen about the list and the se several other um, ways of doing the list operations. And in the new series of uh, Power Atomy Desktop, we are going to see the web automation. And in this video, we are going to see how to launch on the close a browser, other Chrome, IE, or different browsers using Power Atomy Desktop. So let's get into Power Automate Desktop and let's get started. Um, there is no actions uh, here. So what we are going to see is Web Automation. Let's go to the Actions panel and go to Web Automation section here. And you can see uh, the different actions that are present under this Web Automation. Uh, the first one is Launch New Instance or an Launch an Internet Explorer and launch a new Firefox and launch new Chrome, launch new Edge. So these are the four different actions that are available to use or to launch a different browsers. So first we will see the launch new Internet Explorer and let's also discuss about uh, the parameters that it consists. Uh, there are first one is launch mode and if you select the drop down there are three different launch modes that are available for this action which is launch automation browser launch new internet explorer and attach to running internet explorer so uh, what is launch automation browser so uh, it it actually creating a power automate desktop browser instance and then inside of it it is opening the browser so let's uh, we will also see how it is opening and the second one is launch new Internet Explorer, launching a new instance um, and attach to the running Internet Explorer. You already opened the Internet Explorer and doing some things and if you want to attach to that Internet Explorer instead of opening a new one, you can also do that. So these are the three different launch modes that are available and you, you need to provide the URL and then the window state. Uh, you have two different uh, window states, three different window states. One is normal, maximized, and minimized. If you want it to be maximized, then you can select maximized. If you want to be it to be minimized, you can select minimized. Normal is something if it opens in a minimized mode, it will be in minimized mode. If it opens in the maximized mode, it will be on maximized mode. And the other uh, property, uh, the advanced proper parameters that are present in this action is. If you want to clear the cache of Internet Explorer, you can do that here. If you want to clear the cookies, you can also do that here. And this is the important uh, parameter that every browser that has is it waits until the page loads, then only it will perform the next next action. And if a pop-up dialog appears, uh, there are also three different actions. We can do that. You can simply close it, press a button or do nothing if you select press a button it will uh, ask you it will give you ok button so where you can actually press for now we are do nothing and there is another uh, setting pro parameter is custom user agent string what is custom user agent string uh, whenever um, we are requesting a request from the application web application there is a http request where in the headers, it will contain the user info, uh, mission information from where it is going. So all, all these things uh, comes under the user user agent string. And the finally, uh, what are the variables that it is producing? It is producing an instance variable, uh, the Internet Explorer instance. So this is uh, pretty much it about the launch new Internet Explorer and the parameters remain same for other launch. Uh, uh, browsers as well for the other browsers other type of browsers let's see all of them but the, the parameters remain same there and let's uh, give it a try Amazon.in and the window state should be maximized and that's it I don't I won't use any advanced options here just click on save and let's execute this and see uh, yes I, I uh, said earlier it will open a power automate window and then it will open the browser inside it let's wait for that and you, you can see that it is 
Web Power Automate Desktop Automated Web Browser PAD Runtime Robot and inside of that PAD Runtime Robot it created a new browser so this is called the Automated Browser property there so this is how it opens a new IE browser here so let's close this now let's select the other properties as well now let's go here and launch new internet explorer so if you select launch new internet explorer it will launch a new IE explorer but not uh, the same that we seen now because it won't use the automate desktop runtime window it will create a new uh, internet explorer you can see here it opened the IE as uh, we already used a parameter which is wait for page to load so it, it will wait until the page is loaded and you can see it is uh, loading the Amazon and you, you don't see any uh, power automate desktop robot uh, automation browser inside uh, outside of it so this is how uh, we use launch new internet explorer or the launch instance and let's go ahead and see the different properties that are associated with the other launch browsers as well now let's see launch firefox and you can see there are only two different modes here there is no other automation browser opening it is only new instance or that is to the running instance and the url the different window state and then advanced these are the uh, properties that we already discussed those are same those remain same and for chrome as well i don't uh, there is no other uh, you can only launch a new instance or attach to a instance on the url and the windows state and the uh, parameters remain same for this as well the last one is edge where the the launch in new instance and then it has to run an instance so this is this uh, remains same now let's see how we can close this uh, here in the access panel uh, you, you have close web browser action just drag and drop it here and you need to mention the instance which instance that you want to close here we have only one instance so we are closing internet explorer if you click on save it will launch and it will wait for uh, the browser to load completely and then it will close that web browser which is loaded let's wait for that let's wait for IE to open now IE is opened here it will wait for the page to completely load because we already checked that and then it will close this browser Now it is still loading you can see that it is still loading now it is loaded completely so it has to close this browser and come out it is you can see that it is still running it is closing the browser so it is closed the browser and uh, the execution is completed successfully and this is how you open a new browser or close uh, close the browser which you opened so that's it for this video if you find this video informative then press the like button if you haven't subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing for more videos